A space paradox that NASA astronomers cannot explain. The Fermi paradox draws attention to what could seem to be a contradiction. The universe is vast, but the physical rules that have permitted life to develop on Earth are the same everywhere. As a result, life must exist throughout the entire universe. However, thus far, scientists have not found any indication of extrasolar life. With our current technology, the only way we might have discovered such life is if it visited our solar system. There is no solid evidence to support alien visits to Earth as of yet. Is anybody out there? Hey guys, welcome back to Beyond Unknown. Today, we will be taking a look at a space paradox that NASA astronomers cannot explain. Make sure to stick till the end of this video as we have a lot to cover. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like today's video. It helps us a long way. The Fermi Paradox attempts to provide a solution to the problem of alien location. According to one theory, aliens should have already visited Earth given that our solar system is very young compared to the rest of the universe, 13.8 billion years versus 4.5 billion. And interstellar travel may be quite simple if given enough time. Enrico Fermi, a physicist who won the Nobel Prize, is credited with coining the phrase the Fermi Paradox after he allegedly raised the aforementioned issues in 1950 during a casual lunchtime discussion. Astrobiologists and other scientists have been baffled by the implications ever since for many decades. In a Fermi Paradox explanation, representatives of the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, or SETI Institute in Mountain View, California wrote, Fermi understood that any civilization with a modest amount of rocket technology and an immodest amount of imperial incentive could rapidly colonize the entire galaxy. Tens of millions of years may sound like a lengthy effort, but they are actually rather brief when compared to the age of the galaxy, which is around a thousand times longer. Within a few tens of millions of years, every star system might be brought under the wing of the Empire. Fermi passed away in 1954, therefore, it was up to others to further develop and explain the theory. Michael Hart did this in a 1975 paper for the Royal Astronomical Society RAS Quarterly Journal titled, An Explanation for the Lack of Extraterrestrials on Earth. Some claim that this is the first paper of its kind to examine the Fermi paradox, however, it's difficult to corroborate this claim. In the abstract of the report, Hart stated, We observe that no intelligent aliens from outer space are now present on Earth. It is believed that the idea that there aren't any other highly developed civilizations in our galaxy is the best explanation to this finding. But he also pointed out that further study in the fields of biochemistry, planetary formation, and atmospheres was required to more precisely define the response. Unless they began their journey fewer than two million years ago, Hart contended intelligent aliens could have visited Earth at some point in the planet's history. He reasoned that the absence of such visits seemed to be caused, in large part, by the absence of advanced alien life. But he also listed four additional theories that might be true. A physical obstacle that makes space travel infeasible which may be connected to astronomy, biology, or engineering, is the reason why aliens have never visited this planet. Aliens simply decided not to come here. Beyond Earth, advanced civilizations have only lately begun to emerge, making it impossible for extraterrestrial life to contact us. Although they had previously visited Earth, we have not seen any alien visitors. A study titled Extraterrestrial Intelligent Entities Do Not Exist by Frank Tipler, a professor of physics at Tulane University, which was also printed in the RAS Quarterly Journal, followed up on Hart's claim in 1980. He proposed that a self-replicating artificial intelligence could acquire the resources needed for interstellar travel by moving from star system to star system and making copies of itself along the way. This was the main topic of his study. Tipler suggested that we are likely the sole intelligent species in the universe because no proof of such sophisticated machinery has ever been discovered on Earth. He also said in the 1980 paper that proponents of extraterrestrial intelligence are similar to those who are interested in UFOs because both groups think we are going to be saved from ourselves by some miraculous galactic intervention. Several articles from various study organizations are published every year on the subject of alien intelligence which is a hot topic in today's world. 
Additionally, the continuing exoplanet revolution has fueled the notion that advanced civilizations may exist outside of Earth. The universe is very old and big. The observable cosmos is estimated to be 92 billion light years across based on information acquired by a number of telescopes and growing faster and faster all the while. It is estimated to be 13.82 billion years old based on various measurements. Therefore, alien civilizations have had plenty of time to develop and disperse, but they will likely need to travel over a wide cosmic chasm to reach us. When Fermi made his infamous statement, our solar system's planets were the only ones that were known to science. But in 1992, observers noticed planets revolving around a pulsar, a super-dense star remnant. And a few years later, confirmation of the first exoplanet orbiting a sun-like star was made. More exoplanets are discovered every year, bringing the total to over 4,500 confirmed exoplanets as of this video. There may be a lot of life throughout the cosmos, as evidenced by the sheer quantity of extraterrestrial worlds. Scientists will eventually be able to investigate the chemical makeup of some neighboring exoplanet atmospheres using increasingly sophisticated telescopes. However, nearby is a relative term. Proxima b, the nearest exoplanet known to us, is located approximately 4.2 light years away, or about 25 trillion miles. The ultimate aim is to determine how frequently rocky planets develop in the habitable zone of their parent stars, which is generally described as the range of orbital distances where water may exist on a world surface. Water alone, however, does not determine habitability. So what could be the answer? These concepts span a very broad spectrum. For instance, researchers in 2015 came to the conclusion that Earth was probably an early bloomer relative to other planets after studying data from the Hubble and Kepler satellite telescopes. The researchers found that when Earth formed roughly 4.5 billion years ago, only 8% of all the potentially habitable worlds that will ever exist in the cosmos were present. Thus, it is one explanation for the paradox. The aliens will arrive, but the right time's not now. Or maybe life is too flimsy to endure for very long. According to a 2016 study, the first 500 million years of the history of a rocky planet can be extremely favorable for the emergence of life. This suggests that life may typically start to appear around 500 million years after the planet cools and liquid water becomes available. The history of our own planet would seem to support that assertion. According to disputed data, life on Earth began to emerge around 4.1 billion years ago and was well entrenched by 3.8 billion years ago. However, these good times might not persist for very long because of a runaway greenhouse effect, like what happened on Venus long ago or other climatic changes. The bottleneck might develop much later, though. It has been suggested by a number of scholars that civilizations may have a tendency to disappear shortly after becoming technologically advanced. The Cuban Missile Crisis in 1962 brought humanity perilously close to a nuclear exchange, and anthropogenic climate change may be eliminating most of the rest of the planet's life at this very moment. Earth again lends some credence to this idea. The search for intelligent aliens also presents logistical challenges. The universe is so vast and extraordinarily old. Only 200,000 years old, humanity's been keeping an eye out for potential extraterrestrial radio signals since only about 1960. Therefore, it doesn't seem likely that a detectable alien civilization will exist where we do in time and space. The majority of researchers believe that there is likely no one solution to the Fermi Paradox. The great stillness we are currently facing is probably the result of a number of circumstances, some of which may include some of those mentioned above. And those components' characteristics may start to become more apparent soon. And that ends our episode. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Please subscribe and leave a comment down below your thoughts, and please don't forget to like today's video, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.